Hey guys, it's Bill from Competition Cars. Good morning. And the purpose of this video today, and actually I'm coming to you from my showroom between this beautiful 58 Cadillac Series 62 and this beautiful 1960 Eldorado Bricks convertible. So the purpose of this video is to do a few things. Tell you a little bit about my background. Um, make sure you guys understand what I'm selling and then try to figure out if we can figure out why people can't seem to just appreciate cars for what they are and, um, and, and make nice positive comments, why people have to tear down cars for no good reason. So I uh, just wanted to, 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 to go over all these things with you. So first of all, I wanna let you guys know that I'm a true car guy. Yes, I, I do this for a living, okay? And it's nice to make money, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But I have a sincere love for classic cars. Been working with my dad since I was six or seven. I'm from Hackensack, New Jersey. Used to go to work with him in the 70s. Um, he was a car detailer, so he'd go to Cadillac dealers, Lincoln dealers, GM dealers, and I was in charge of cleaning the bumpers and cleaning the wheels and tires. That was my job. So I was exposed to cars from an early age. I am a true car guy, okay? I like to associate with other car guys. It's just in my blood. I can be a very nice guy, and I can have my buttons pushed like anybody else, and we'll get into that in a minute. Um, but, but, uh, but I'm in this business not just to make money, I'm in it because I love what I do, number one. So that's where I'm from, New Jersey. That's how I got my love of cars and all that good stuff. So now, the type of car that I sell, that I typically sell. Um, now this car is pretty much like a nut and bolt restoration for the most part. I don't think it was taken off the frame, but most cars that I sell are going to be very low mile originals. This is what I look for. I look for low mile original cars with original paint that have been very well preserved. I don't buy cars with rust. I don't buy cars that need to be totally repainted if I can help it. I don't buy cars with bad engines. I don't buy cars with ripped up interiors. I buy just good, honest, original cars. And then what I do is, you know, we'll do our, what I call our touches to it. We'll do the engine bays and undercarriages and, and do full paint corrections. So when we do the engine bays, okay, some people will go, oh, well, why did you have to redo the engine bay with a 10,000 mile car, or why did you have to redo the undercarriage with a 30,000 mile car? So you gotta figure this, so these cars are 30, 40, 50, 60 years old. I don't care how low the miles are, time takes a toll on these cars. Unless you put this car in a bubble and it's climate control, which most cars aren't, they're gonna have some light corrosion. They're gonna have paint that is faded over the years. So what we do is, we find a nice, honest car, we do a full detail, engine bay, hot water, pressure wash, the engine bay and undercarriage, and then whatever, whatever is, um, has retained its original luster, we leave it alone. If the oil pan is supposed to be blue and half the blue is off of it, we'll refinish it and put it back to the correct Ford blue, Cadillac blue, Lincoln, whatever it's supposed to be. So, and we don't do that to hide anything. You, know, you cannot hide rust. So I'm just trying to explain to you guys, we want you to open up an engine bay or put the car in the lift and go, wow, it's clean, it's detailed, it looks great. So these guys, you know, I, I share a lot of these videos on, on YouTube and then, and then the bring a trailer and then Facebook. I'm part of all these car groups. So sometimes, like I said, you'll get these uneducated guys that, that don't know cars and they'll go, well, why did you do, why did you paint this or why did you paint that? It's because I want to look good. You can't hide rust. We're not hiding rust because I don't buy cars that have rust. A lot of times these northern cars were um, undercoated from the factory and I don't have a dry ice machine. If I did, that, that would be a game changer, but it's so expensive. And there's really nobody around Myrtle Beach doing it, so we do it the old-fashioned way, you know, elbow grease, and and just and clean it the best that we can to our ability. Um, but I want the car to look clean and pristine. Again, that's that's why we do things we do. Uh, you know, if something is supposed to be a certain shade of black, and, and and we look it up and it looks like it should be a semi-gloss or or gloss or a matte, and and we pick what we think, you know. It's because we did the best that we, we could. If it's off, I can be corrected, I'm fine. If I, if, I, if I say something wrong, if I call this a 57 and it's a 58, correct me. If I say the color is called cameo white and it's supposed to be alpine white, correct me. If I say something just wrong by mistake, I'm fine with that. But if you start questioning my integrity, um, you know, and you start like, pan over to that black car. That's a mostly original paint car, had a little bit of paint work on the deck lid. Some guys started talking about this car and, and started questioning the paint. I said, listen, I've already disclosed everything, but don't question my integrity because when I submit a car, I'm very transparent, 
okay? And this is where you can turn nice bill into, I get a little aggravated. So if, if you correct me on something and I just said something wrong, I'm cool with that. I'm, I don't know everything about every single car, but if I tell you the car's original paint and it's this and it's that, and you start questioning me and say, no, it's not, or start questioning something I've done to the car and I tell you why I did it or what I did, and then, and then you're talking about, you know, well, you're not representing the car right, that you start pushing my button. So, you know, I, I could, I, I could, um, uh, you know, again, be be educated. I'm, I'm I'm not beyond that, but don't but don't start insulting me and insulting my car when you haven't even looked at it. You know, that's when, you, you know, you can turn a nice any nice person into an aggravated person, and you might be you might get called an asshole. I'm not beyond doing that. I don't want to get to that point. I don't want to be that guy. But like I said, if you if you keep pushing buttons, and after I explain to you, hey, you're 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 incorrect, and his, here's what we have. So, so you know, there's a lot of that going on, and that gets frustrating because I look, I put a lot of time and effort to finding these cars, to putting my blood, sweat, and tears, me, my son, and my team, and um, and then presenting them correctly on Bring a Trailer, three, four hundred pictures, two, three, four, sometimes ten in that case, in that car, ten videos, and I'm very transparent. So if I see it and I know it, I'm going to do it. But don't don't start questioning integrity because you're not going to get very far with me. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna upset me. And then we're gonna we're just not gonna have a pleasant experience. But in general, I am a very laid back dude. I want to have a good experience with everybody, whether it's YouTube, bring a trailer, or um, Facebook. So we're all car guys. We also have the same love of these cars. So you know, let's be positive. Let's let's not try to tear a person's car down. You've never put your eyes on it. You don't have any clue what we're talking about. I see a lot of cars on the internet that you know maybe the price is too high or maybe. You know, the cars were not anywhere close to what the guy is saying the car is. You know what I do? I keep my mouth shut. If I can't have something positive to say, I keep my mouth shut. Those of you that know me on Facebook or YouTube or whatever, I am the first person to compliment your car. I'll like your post. I'll go, hey, great color. I love your car. Looks fantastic. You did a good job preserving it, whatever. So I find things positive to say. If i got something negative, I see a lot of negative stuff. I ignore it. I leave it alone. So that's, you know, that's kind of the, the purpose of this video is to, to again, Tell you who I am. Tell you why I do this. You know, I'm not just in it for the money. People go, "Oh, you're just in it for the money. You don't care about these cars." I love these cars. I drive these cars. I own these cars. You know, it, it's a, it's a, it is a real love. It's a real passion. Now, hopefully, you can see that through this video. Um, and what else should we cover? Uh, you know, bring a trailer. I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm very, very transparent. Like I said, I do a lot of videos, a lot of pictures. I welcome anybody to come here and pre-inspect these cars, you know? And again, I welcome anybody, that's Christian out back, you can hear him, I don't, think that, don't want that distraction, he's back there working on the car right now. Impact wrench. So anyway, so I welcome anybody to come here and, and, and again, educate me on stuff. I am, I am not above being educated. So uh, other than that, you know, you look around, this is my passion, I put a lot of love into this dealership and the way it looks, the way I've decorated it. You know, you can see I do like Cadillacs, I do like Lincolns. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not past loving a low mile Pinto or Chevy Chevette. Those cars are on my list. If I see anything with low miles that's restored, I got my buddy Mark Manuza up in New Jersey. I just got to know this guy. I bought a car from him. We've been doing some business. He found, he called me, he goes, I found a Vega, a one owner Vega with low miles. And I also found a, a one owner Monza with low miles. Does that interest you? I said, heck yeah, it interests me. I said, anything you find with ultra low miles, I want to know about it. I want an opportunity to try to buy it. So, um, yeah, so just, you know, let's let's all be as positive as we can. We're all in the same hobby. And I uh, just want to make this video to, to try to, you know, clear some things up and, and, and let you know that sometimes, you know, I am, again, you know, anybody but, anybody's buttons can be pushed. I just don't want to, I don't want to get to that point. And if, and if, if you correct me and I've said that wrong, I'm, I'm cool with that. But if you say something about my car and you're wrong and you keep pushing and trolling, we, we don't have time for trolls, guys. I, I got enough on my plate to worry about. Um, so just enjoy my channel, enjoy my cars, know that I'm a straight up guy, know that I'm transparent, and know that I have a true love for this. You have any cars I've sold that I've made zero dollars on? I bought cars knowing I'm not gonna make any money on them, but I just like the car, I wanted to try it, and I wanted an opportunity to bring it to market. So it's, it's not just about the money, it's, it's far deeper than that. So we appreciate you. Share the video, like our YouTube channel. If you, if you go on there and you subscribe to our channel, every time I do a video, um, you'll get a notification just saying, hey, Bill put up a video. And uh, if you want to take a second, Anthony, to kind of look around, let them just take a quick peek what we have here. 58 Cadillac that's going live on Bring a Trailer. 
Unfortunately, this is sold. My good friend Bill in Wisconsin bought this one. He's bought several cars from me. He'll be adding this to the collection. This car is sold. This Eldorado's gonna be on back soon. That T-Bird is sold. That green car is actually Mark Manuza's car. I helped coordinate, facilitate this. It's kind of a stopping point. The car came from the south. It was right in my backyard, so I went and grabbed the car, and it's here so they can pick it up. That's my personal Trans Am. That's my personal IROC. The Vista Cruiser, which I hopefully I can get rid of that car soon. I have another good client that uh, may take it. It's been here a while. It needs to go. And I got some other stuff in the back that sold as well. So you guys can see this is, you know, we're, we're, we're not just some random dealer in this just for the money. We do it because we love it. And, and, and I love making friends. I mean, so many people around the country, you know, Sergio in California and Mark in New Jersey and Bill in Wisconsin and David in Rhode Island and, and all these guys, Scott out in, in, in Vegas. There's so many guys that I've met that I've actually become legitimate friends with. And uh, so this, this, is a, this is a hobby that, that I love and have a passion for. So thanks for taking the time to watch the video. You guys have a great day, and, and uh, that's it. That's all I got for you. Bye.